Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to be talking about two fantastic entertainers that released albums together and apart. And yes, they were married. I am talking about Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. Now there's tons of albums by uh, Steve Lawrence, tons of albums by Edie Gourmet, and, and tons that they recorded together. Now, of course, since I'm a CD junkie, I only collect CDs, and I grew up on their music in a way, uh, you know, especially their Christmas album, that holiday feeling, and plus hearing songs uh, on the radio or on television appearances. Of course, they made all the telethon appearances. They made all the talk shows, variety shows. I mean, they were just as much a part of my growing up as the Beatles and the Monkees and uh, Neil Diamond and Andy Williams. They were always there, but I really didn't learn to appreciate them until maybe my later teens, early 20s, and then I would collect some vinyl, and I probably had a good 20 or 30 uh, LPs many years ago. About a year ago or so, maybe less, I stumbled across the Steve and Edie website. Now, sadly, Edie left us in 2013, but I've been slowly but surely buying CDs from their website because they offer uh, just a great variety of things that you cannot get anywhere else. And I will give you the address to that right below here and also in the item card. So many great titles to choose from, so I'm not really going to be able to delve too much into each album. Now these first two CDs I'm going to show you are not sold on that website, but I try to get as much Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet as I can. Here's one by Steve Lawrence with some tracks with Edie Gourmet called Walking Tall, The Teen Pop Sides. And here's another CD by Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet called We Can Make It Together. This is like a collection of early 70s recordings, uh, but you'll have to look elsewhere for those. The ones I'm going to show you now, the ones that I've been collecting that I absolutely love. The great thing about Steve and Edie is yes, they were entertainers but their voice is truly amazing. Go back and listen to them. If you just think of them as those smiling faces on the Jerry Lewis telethon, I'm sorry. There is so much more depth to them. When they sing, they do connect to the songs, and that's what's really important. So if you need to, go through YouTube and listen to some stuff. Go to the Stephen Eady website and listen to some stuff. But this is the stuff I've got. It's wonderful collections, all of them, uh, and I plan to get more. So anyway, we're going to start off here with some Steve Lawrence stuff. This is Steve Lawrence Sound and Portrait of My Love. This is from 1960 and 61. This CD here contains two albums. Uh, Winners is from 1962 and On a Clear Day is from 1970. And then you've got this, which is the Steve Lawrence show. He had a uh, TV series, and this is the soundtrack, so to speak, from it. It came out in 1965. Now, this one has Sings of Love and Sad Young Men from 1966 and Portrait of Steve from 1972. Portrait of Steve actually has his version of John Lennon's Oh My Love, which I played on my Ski Lodge radio show, and it's fantastic. You can hear that he's connecting with it. And I love it when these artists, you know, from Andy Williams, Johnny Mathis, um, Stephen Eady, when they were doing songs in the late 60s, early 70s, that's usually my favorite period. And they're recording old songs, but they're also uh, sort of reshaping new ones as well. So anyway, here's an album here uh, called The Warm Hours. And this is actually 18 previously unreleased tracks. Now, of course, there's no date written on them, but judging by the personnel, I would guess late 70s, early 80s, more than likely early 80s. And that's really a great collection there. Now, now, that's all I have of Steve Lawrence. Let's get into the Edie Gourmet titles. We're going to start with Edie Gourmet Vamps the Roaring Twenties. This is from 1958. And it does exactly what the title says there. That's a great little collection here. And this contains the albums uh, I Feel So Spanish and Otra Vez. Now, this is what Edie Gourmet is best known for. Blame it on the Bossa Nova. And that's from 1964. And then this from 64 as well. It's a gourmet country style. Both Steve and Edie, just technically perfect voices. I, mean, I just love to listen to those voices, and, and especially when they sang together and those voices blending. It, it was just incredible. Anyway, this uh, is a twofer. It features uh, Edie and the Trio Los Panchos. And this is the Amor and the Mas Amor albums uh, from 64 and 65. And here's a twofer. Both albums from 1966, Don't Go to Strangers and Softly As I Leave You. And here's a Christmas album uh, with uh, Trio Los Panchos. And it's Navidad Means Christmas. And that came out in 1966. There's Edie with her groovy hair. And here's another twofer. It's Tonight I'll Say a Prayer. And it was a good time. And those are from 1970 and 71. And this features Muy Amigos and La Gourmet uh, from 76 and 77. And then finally with Edie's 
uh i got the album on cd since i fell for you from 1981 all of those albums are great fantastic wonderful listens turn them on on a sunny summer or spring or fall or winter afternoon turn them on in the morning and the evening i mean it's it's music for all occasions uh, but let's start with Stephen Eady right now this is from 1960 it's called we got us and another two for here this is cozy from 1961 and a man and a woman from 1970 an album from 1963 the year i was born called Stephen Eady at the movies two on the aisle from 1963 and 1967 it's us again from 1964 Here's one that my mom played a lot during the holidays, obviously. It's called That Holiday Feeling from 1964. And I'm probably going to mispronounce this, but this is Steven Edie Banfa and Brazil from 1967. And here are Steven Edie on the Broadway play, Golden Rainbow. Now, you know the song that Sammy Davis is really big for called uh, I've Gotta Be Me? Steve Lawrence was the first person that did it, and it is in this play. So if you want to hear uh, this wonderful rendition of um, I've Gotta Be Me, you, it can be found right here. The World of Steve and Edie from 1972. Now, this has the song We Can Make It Together uh, with the Osmonds, and which is a fantastic, wonderful, wonderful pop song. Uh, and it has them, you know, it's them performing um, songs in languages from around the world. And this was, uh, I think, they were backed by the Mike Curb congregation as well on that. So that's absolutely a wonderful little CD. If you're looking maybe to get just like a, a, a good collection of Stephen Eady, they actually have two of them. The Greatest Hits Volume 1 and The Greatest Hits Volume 2. Both jam-packed with stuff from the albums that I've just talked about, plus more. Because there's still plenty on the website that I don't have. I probably own only two-thirds of what is available on that website. And I highly recommend it. They are true glorious entertainers sing from the heart they connect with the songs they connect with the audience they've been really overlooked all these years and underappreciated such great enormous talents remember steve lawrence edie gourmet just you can't go wrong with any of these titles and steve and edie so worth your while like i said do a search on YouTube, go to Amazon, go to Spotify, see whatever's available, listen to them, and then buy this wonderful music. You might already have a bunch of Stephen Eady in your collection, uh, and you just pull it out and listen to it, because it's it's truly, truly magic. So I definitely recommend you check out Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. Uh, anything you can get a hold of, it's wonderful and fantastic. Anyway, that's it. I appreciate you sitting around and letting me talk about Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.